So hello and thank you all for being a part of today's presentation. Um, on behalf of the National Center for Rural Health Professions, I want to welcome you all to the 2020 Rural Health Hero Award presentation honoring Dr. Ashley Kennedy. I am joined by my colleague, Dr. Diane Potts, as well as leadership from CGH Medical Center in Sterling, Illinois. And we are very excited to honor and recognize Dr. Kennedy's achievements. I wanna first talk a little bit about National Rural Health Day, which is very much tied to the reason that we provide this award every year. So National Rural Health Day is organized by the National Organization of State Offices of Rural Health. The holiday is meant to uh, be for a couple of different reasons. The first of which is to recognize the unique health care challenges that rural citizens face across the country. It is also meant to honor the achievements of rural health professionals in providing care to the communities. Um, and I'm sure as many of you can agree, um, this last point is especially important um, in the last year. Um, it's a time to advocate and raise awareness um, for the health of rural communities um, and make sure that um, all rural residents have the supportive care um, that they need. So the Rural Health Hero Award is why we're all here today. Um, and as many of you know, the center's mission is to serve rural communities, um, both uh, statewide and nationally. Um, but the Rural Health Hero Award is meant to recognize the major contribution um, to rural health care by some, a rural health care provider within Illinois. And this could be done through a variety of activities and work um, by that person, whether it's through teaching um, or preceptoring, it might be through um, administrative leadership, um, and it might be through their service overall um, as a rural health care provider um, or leader. So we are very excited to honor Dr. Ashley Kennedy today. Um, and I'm going to pass on the presentation now to Diane to talk a little bit about the background um, moving forward um, and why um, Dr. Kennedy was nominated for this year's award. And Diane, you are on mute. I purposely did not want that to happen. Um, forgive me, I'm too excited, I think. Um, you know, it. It didn't take me long to figure out who I would want to um, nominate for this award. Um, you know, I deal with many rural providers and there's many, many that really come to mind and that is not to be um, unnoticed. But the, there's several things I took in my heart, like what would I feel as a rural health hero? And many of the things that Vicki described come, come to mind. But I kind of did a, a reflection on what, what would I consider. And the things that I've listed there are what I consider to be the hero um, for rural, the champions, the ambassadors, the, uh, the forever giving providers that um, they, they face each and every day, many, many situations. And, um, but I, you know, I, I felt Dr. Kennedy was very deserving and for many reasons, and I'll get to those in a minute, Commitment to rural community. Dr. Kennedy um, just lives and breathes what she does um, and thinks very highly of her community. When I first met her, um, that was very apparent to me um, just on a first meeting. Um, very welcoming, very, and so that extends to the community. I felt welcomed and I did at CGH from the time I began working with them, but you know, there was a site visit that I had done, and all this is not a real site visit. Um, it was very apparent that she's dedicated to rural, um, lives and breathes every word. Selfless service. She continues to take our med students over and over again. Um, it isn't even hard to ask it. You know, I often feel like am I probably inconveniencing someone not with Dr. Kennedy. Dr. Kennedy, she will plan her vacation time around when a student wants to be with her. And you know, that's a very rare commodity, a very rare um, kind of a character. And I really feel that that's a unique 
very um, strong characterization for Dr. Kennedy. She just gives her all, and it's all about others. It's not about herself. Humility as a exemplary role model. Oh, so I investigate with students on my role as an ARMED third year clerkship. Um, I place the students, I work with them, and I always ask them for feedback. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, you know, the thing is that every one of them say she's a role model for them. Um, what, what better avenue? And so some of my collective ideas here extend from not only myself and what I know, but they're, they're on the front lines with Dr. Kennedy. And I took that all to heart. And so um, that's, that's another piece that I think there's a human, you know, humility side to Dr. Kennedy. That compassion for all. Um, the students have told me that when she examines, she's tender, and that goes hand in hand with the next point, tenderness of heart, so compassionate to those that she treats. These are the things that I think students really need to see in action, and that is what they see with Dr. Kennedy. Um, what better way to share those experiences than to model what's in your heart she can then take and share with others, and students will model that. And the allegiance to ARMED, student precepting, oh my goodness. So what could we say? She never refuses a student. She will work her, as I mentioned, vacation around taking students. She said to one of the students who shared with me in just a conversation, Dr. Kennedy is very sad when she doesn't have a student. So does that mean I send her a student all the time? Um, it sounds like I need to, to keep her happy. <laughs> but, um, I did share that with Dina and um, she thought that was very endearing and I do too. So for all of these reasons, I nominated Dr. Kennedy. I provided that to the National Center colleagues that I work with. It was unanimous support to have Dr. Kennedy receive this recognition. Nobody challenged, it was hands down done. It took seconds, to be honest with you. And I'm, I'm very happy to have nominated her, that she was selected and she deserves every one of the recognition pieces that I've mentioned here. Um, so Dr. Kennedy, I can't thank you enough. You have really made a difference to our students. Um, I repeatedly hear that. So it was pretty well an obvious choice on who to nominate. So because I cannot be there, and Dina was very kind enough to meet me this past Monday at the door um, at CGH, um, pretty incognito. She's very good at sneaking about, Dina. I think they all are. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all were. Yes, you dealt directly with me. And honestly, Shane, I thought that was the best way to, to um, reach uh, you because I know that COVID's really been impacting you greatly. And, and I appreciate every one of you for all that you do. What I did, though, is with Dina's help, I asked for um, some uh, recognition be done through your staff, but prior to that, um, and prior to giving her these awards that are due, um, I felt it best to provide some testimonials directly from those that have worked with her. Um, the first one is a combination testimonial or tribute from Dr. Myers, who's the chairman of the, at the Department of Surgery on the College of Medicine campus in Rockford, and Dr. Zaharula, who's the clerkship director um, and this is what, there's a combination, um, and this is what it reads, so please bear with me. The University of Illinois College of Medicine at Rockford, Department of Surgery, is truly blessed to have Dr. Ashley Kennedy on our faculty. Dr. Kennedy's contribution to healthcare, education, and membership in a rural setting speaks to her knowledge, skill, compassion, and work ethic. First, she's an outstanding physician and surgeon. Her community, her colleagues, and coworkers in the institutions at which she works are very fortunate to have such an understanding surgeon, an outstanding surgeon on their team. She leads and teaches by example. Her commitment to rural community is a shining example to all medical students, especially those with aspirations to serve in rural settings. 
Dr. Kennedy's ability to connect with students as an educator and mentor goes well beyond the example she sets. She act actively looks for opportunities to teach and guide students. As the clerkship director, I sense a general trend of increasing burden, clinical and administrative tasks for many surgeons, and in turn, a pullback in involvement with students. Dr. Kennedy bucks that general trend and makes specific effort to increase her involvement with students. Her teaching methods seem to include high expectations combined with high levels of engagement and compassion. Her teaching and mentorship are very deliberate, requiring much time and energy. She gives detailed feedback to the students directly and in their evaluation, helping these students grow and mature. Her contribution to medical school education is broad and her connection to her students is deep. We consistently get feedback from students who work with her that their experience is often, quote, the best clinical experience thus far in any discipline. The sentiment is repeated by just about every student that spends time with her. The UIC College of Medicine Rockford campus, its Department of Surgery, her students, and the RMED program are all very proud and blessed to have Dr. Kennedy serve as a, such an inspirating, inspiring, and dedicated mentor. The recognition of 2020 Rural Health Hero Award is well-deserved. All heroes don't wear capes, but this one indeed wears a mask. We wish Dr. Ashley Kennedy the heartiest of congratulations. The other um, part that I thought was really important is to just randomly select a few students that had worked with Dr. Kennedy. So these are three random students, as I mentioned. We have Lucinda Adams. I just wanted to tell you, Diane, that I absolutely loved, capitalized, my time in Sterling with Dr. Kennedy. She's such a great surgeon, educator, mentor. I learned so much from her. She opened my eyes to the world of rural surgery that I honestly did not really understand too much previously. I did not know what working in a rural area with a team of other general surgeons was like and what the flow of the day was like. With that being said, on my drive back to Rockford earlier this week, I was reflecting on my time at Sterling. I found myself so excited about going in every morning to the hospital, whether it be the OR or just for clinic. Going to, into surgery rotation, I had no interest in surgery, but now after leaving Sterling and Dr. Kennedy, I just kept thinking about the possibility of pursuing that road in my future. Lucinda wrote that to me when I investigated how the clerkship went. That was really not targeted to this award. So that's, you know, outside of the question, she gave me that, that response. Nathan Pfister, my time with Dr. Kennedy was an eye-opening experience. My perspective of surgery completely changed after my rotation with her. I got to do so much and learn how enjoyable surgery could be. The experience was so impactful that I'm now very seriously considering surgery as a future career. She is one of the few preceptors in all the clerkship that takes the time to teach each student about clinical practice and relevant material every day. And lastly, Trevor Troutman. Dr. Kennedy shows a real devotion in helping medical students learn as much as they can in the short time that they are able to spend with her. She makes sure to take extra time out of each day to teach and review concepts with you one-on-one -on -one that go far beyond the average day-to-day -day learning. She ensures that you get a truly immersive experience in the world of surgery when rotating with her. What more would I need to say and why was it so easy to select Dr. Kennedy? Well, I think we have our answers. So because I am not there, um, I did pull, the, the intrigue continues because they all were a part of this plan, the master plan. Um, I had asked presenters to be there on my behalf to provide the uh, awards which um, are tokens of our recognition and appreciation. So if I know that Dr. Steinke was unable to join us, um, we sure, surely understand. Uh, Mr. Shane Brown, Vice President, Physician Services and Clinics, and Dina Wheeler, Physician Services Assistant, if you might help with um, providing those tokens to Dr. Kennedy, please. The first one, uh, Dr. Kennedy, is a plaque 
the plaque is inscribed with the following. Um, Dr. Ashley Cannon, the recipient of the 2020 Rural Health Hero Award for unwavering dedication to excellence in rural health care education and mentorship. That is something that I want you to display pr proudly, Dr. Kennedy. However, I'm not sure with your humility, but I think that maybe Mr. Brown could find a spotlight for it somewhere. <laughs> and then one other part of that, Dr. Kennedy, is um, what Dina has in hand. And that is a token that is given to rural health heroes. I had to do a little homework, which certainly I was happy to do. Um, I have to keep up with the students that love you. I have to figure out ways to, to, to do that. Um, but what I had to do is ask someone who had been on the campus a lot longer than I, I've really been with the program three and a half years. She's been there about 20. So she, I, I'm gonna kind of refer to this because it's, it, Vicki and I just heard about this, just. So it says, when ARMED came to be, it, it began to include some other health professions. So it, it was initially acronymed our peer and then became the National Center for Rural Health Professions. She said that was around 2003. So when that happened, they decided they needed a better representative logo that would encompass all professions. So they took the idea of rural and the windmill became the heart of the logo because it had been for the, our peer program. So they didn't want to just um, throw that idea out. They liked the idea quite a bit, but they felt that the new logo should incorporate the windmill too. So the current logo, if, if one looks at it, it's got some spiral arms. So that windmill represents the rural part of the National Center and the arms are representative of the professions. She said it was commissioned for six arms. And so what you'll find is currently, we have rural medicine, we have rural nursing, we have rural pharmacy, and we have elements now of rural social work. The ultimate goal would be to pull in dentistry and public health. So that is representative of rural of which you are the epitome and the ambassador and the supportive element that I'm sure that CGH Medical Center um, finds um, very engaging and relevant and exciting to have you there. I know that we are very excited to have you on faculty and I, I there was no uh, rhyme or reason or any hesitation on my part that you are most deserving of this award, Dr. Kennedy. I cannot thank you for everything that you do um, I know that you're like the Energizer Bunny, and maybe that is what we should have given you. <laughs> well, the batteries go on and on, and, and, uh, but with any regard, most, um, most congratulations from me, from certainly I speak for Vicki Ryan, and all the colleagues at the National Center for Rural Health Professions, um, you, are most, mo you are most deserving, and we thank you for everything. Very unexpected and very overwhelming, and you guys are all very sneaky. <laughs> but thank you, I'm, I'm honored, and I will display this proudly. Well, you know, it isn't, you know, there wasn't a necessary element that we need to keep this like a surprise. But sometimes in the moment, you know, it's it's hard to absorb. But Vicki and I, I'm going to collectively get all of what I've read to you. Um, I believe Vicki will be able to share that with this recording with you. Um, and then when you have time to reflect, um, you know, I've, I've been in education a while. Um, and the one thing I've always thought about is to myself, I would like to make sure that I've made a difference in one person's life. Didn't need to know who it was, but just a difference. And you have done that beyond one you are just incredible and we, I don't know how else to tribute you than this small little token for all that you do do. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. And you know, your team is incredible to work with. It has been for the entire time I've worked and um, it's a joy for me to be a part of your family. 
they're at CGH. So with that, um, you enjoy the moment. Now, the one thing I do, my, my only one hesitation in nominating you this year is we've got this COVID challenge. Normally, this would be an invitation to come to campus and there would be a really uh, solid recognition, um, a semi-party, I suppose, a gathering, a reception, but Vicki and I and the center colleagues have talked. And so next year in this same month of November, 2021, we want to invite you to campus, all of your team there, invite you to campus and uh, celebrate the moment then, because that was my only concern is to shortchange you on this. And you oh, did- I don't feel shortchanged at all. Thank you. <laughs> well, see, and there's your humility again, Dr. <laughs> So with that, I do, you will get an invitation to join us and uh, all present there too. It, it would be a lovely way to um, restore this uh, exciting time for you. And we, we really would like to have you there if you're able to, I know you're very, very busy. So, Thank you. so it, you enjoy the moment. Um, I'm sure your team will celebrate with you and they will announce it to where they can. And, and Shane promised me you'll get a spotlight on the plaque. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'll do it. Okay, very good. Thank you all very much. Vicki, do you wanna conclude? Sure, I'm gonna just stop sharing for a moment and just wanna say again, yes, congratulations and thank you for all you do. Um, we would love to welcome you to campus, as Diane said, and, and have um, a proper um, ceremony in person, um, hopefully not too much at a distance at that time, um, and, and yeah, and have a recognition there as well. Yeah. So you celebrate, um, we wish we could be there with you. We are there in spirit and just enjoy the moment. You deserve that and more. Thank, Thank you. you everyone for helping pull this off, as they say. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you guys. You are welcome. Please take care, strong, safe, and well. I, I, I do really worry about all of those on the front line. So, you know, just you, you're battling a, a virus that is out of control. So please be safe and we will look forward to other other times. Thank you. Great. Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.